Good afternoon. It's going to be a cold night. We talked about this last night and it looks like it's going to come true here with an overnight low tonight dropping down to four degrees into the lower single digits across the News 10 viewing area. Right now it's 24 degrees after a high today of 27. It's a, almost 20 degrees colder than is average for this time of year. The average high is 46 for this date. In Robinson, it's 30 right now. Vincennes has 29, Casey 24, and Paris has 24 degrees. Paris, a 12 mile per hour northwest wind. Terre Haute, 9, Robinson, 9, and Vincennes, 14. It may become more breezy as we get into the uh, overnight hours. In the meantime, we do have wind chill factors to uh, talk about. 14 degrees, that's the wind chill factor in Terre Haute. Paris, 14. Uh, Vincennes 18, Olney 16, Effingham 17 under a cloudy sky for everybody. Now, what I think is going to happen through the nighttime is we'll have some clearing. We can already see a little bit of clearing starting to take place in northern Illinois. A few clouds beginning to break up. It's not going to happen right away, but during the overnight hours, I think we will get some clearing and that will add to the um, uh, ability for the earth to get cold as well. So this cold front coming through, this is about two o'clock in the morning. So as this front gets through here. We already have a northwest flow, but as this uh, second front comes along, it'll reinforce the fact that some colder air is moving in and it'll pick up the wind speed as we get into the overnight hours and into the day tomorrow as this cold front moves through here six o'clock tomorrow morning. Meteorologist Lindsay Monroe will be here and she'll be telling you about a day tomorrow that will turn out to be sunny, but will struggle to reach up out of the teens during the day tomorrow. Here's noon tomorrow, a mostly sunny day into tomorrow night at six o'clock. Again, it'll be mostly clear tomorrow night and a clear night tomorrow night down into the single digits. Now the thing that I also talked with Lindsay about today, I in fact I talked with at length is about this next weather system that's coming in that I think is going to impact our weekend and Storm Team 10 is keeping track of it and I think it warrants watching. It's right now questionable whether it's going to be all snow or maybe some sleet and freezing rain. But I do believe that something's going to be coming in this weekend and we will track this for you. So cl uh, gradual clearing, windy and colder tonight, an overnight low of four. Then sunny and cold tomorrow, a cold northwest breeze, a high tomorrow of only 18 degrees. And then from tomorrow night, clear and very cold and a gusty southwest wind. And then the seven day forecast, look at that Jack, let a high of 12 on Thursday. Friday afternoon, we warm up a little bit. We may have a little evening snow on Friday. Then the snow quits. This is not the big one. And then on Saturday, a little snow developing. And what I really want to watch is what could happen on Sunday, because this could be a, a sleet, freezing rain, snow event, and it could last into part of the day on Monday. I, I think this really warrants keeping an eye on. And Storm Team 10 will keep track of it. A little early to call right now to tell you if it's going to be a whole bunch of snow or a lot of freezing rain and so on, but I would prepare for extra travel time later this weekend and the first part of next week.